Hey guys, how you doing? I was ill the whole week. Is that great? Um, maybe you can hear that my voice sounds a bit weird. Um, I'm still not over this cold, um, but I thought I feel good enough to make a short video for you guys because I don't want to leave you hanging just because I get ill very easily. I want to make a longer version of this kind of video in the future because I feel like it is a topic that I want to talk about longer than just five minutes or something. Um, so if you would like to hear me talk about this more then let me know in the comments. Um, but yeah, every time when I'm ill I have so much time to think about me, about um, the choices that I made in the past and what I want to do in the future, I don't know. My brain just can't handle the illness, so it just goes crazy. <laughs> and um, because I was ill the whole week, the only thing I did was lying in bed, sleeping, eating and watching PewDiePie and thinking about my life and oh my god, January is almost over. <laughs> and I was thinking about if I stick to my New Year's resolutions and I kind of did with working out but now that I was ill I couldn't work out the whole week which is not good but I'm trying to get into it again but one of my resolutions was also uh, saying yes to more things and on the other hand side saying no to some things um, which sounds a bit weird um, if I say it like this but I want to explain because I want that this video um, makes you guys think about your choices that you made in the past and that you want to make in the future. First, saying yes. Um, I really want to change a lot of things this year. I don't know why I chose 2015. Um, but you know, it just happened like this and I just go with it. Um, basically, I want to say yes to more things that um, I might have been scared of or I might have been too shy in the past. Um, you know, I want to experience more in my life. I feel like my whole life I've been basically in my comfort zone, in my own bubble and never took one step out of this. Um, the first step out was obviously YouTube. but. Um, I want to experience new things, I want to actually live my life and I want to say yes to more things so I can experience new things, you know? Um, on the other hand side, saying no is such a huge part of my life because I usually never say no. Um, when someone's asking me, could you help me with this or could you do this for me, I usually say yes just because I feel like um, it is rude to say no and I'm this kind of person who always wants to be nice and most of the time I forget about myself and this is why I want to start saying no more when I know that someone, if someone's asking me hey do you want to come with me to, I don't know, to this party for example. I'm not really an outgoing person. I like to go dancing from time to time but I don't like being like in a crowd and you know many people around me that just makes me feel really uncomfortable. Um, but for example um, my best friend loves to go out and we're not going out that much together. <laughs> but just saying um, as an example if she is asking me to go out with her it's a club that I know I don't like because I, I've been there and it was really cramped or something I want to say no and explain to her why not um, just because I know that I wouldn't enjoy it so while I was ill I could think about all the things I didn't do in the past because I said no because I was too scared not because I already experienced it and I know that I don't like it I just said no to so many things because I was scared of because I was too shy because I was insecure because whatever reasons um, and I want to change that I want that in the future when in five years I look back I can say wow I tried this and I tried that and I said yes to this chance 
and on the other hand side, when I look back I always said yes when I actually wanted to say no because I knew from my experience that I wouldn't like it, but I did it anyway. And in five years time I want to look back and I'm like, I'm so glad that I didn't do it because I know that I would have regretted it, if that makes sense. And I want that you guys think back what you might have missed because you were too scared of something or too shy to talk to someone, you know, like little things. And I want that you guys think about what you want to change in the future for yourself because I feel like saying yes and saying no, these two words are so powerful and we use them every single day without even realizing. And I think we should just take a moment and actually think about the meaning of saying yes and saying no. And yeah, this is what I was thinking about the whole week, almost. Um, I'm sorry that this video is a bit shorter, but I just, I don't feel like energetic enough to talk longer about it. I really want to make a longer video uh, in the near future about saying yes and saying no. But just for now, so you can think about it a little bit and... Yeah, maybe you're ill as well and you don't really have anything to do. Just think about your life a bit, you know? Why not? <laughs> if you like this video then please, please give it a thumbs up so I know that I can go on with this kind of style of my videos and let me know in the comments if I should make a longer version out of this um, topic. And you can also share this video with your friends on Facebook and Twitter and Tumblr and I don't know where else. <laughs> um, maybe you know someone who is struggling with saying yes and saying no, like me. <laughs> um, then show them this video, maybe I can help someone. And you can also subscribe by clicking somewhere down there uh, on my card or on this red button below the video and if you click over there you can spend a day with me if you want to just click over there and yeah I love you all very very much and I will see you next Monday with my next video goodbye